they're becoming more and more scholars are becoming moving over to believing in early dates of the New Testament. William F. Albright says we can already say emphatically that there is no long, there is no long any basis for dating any book of the New Testament about A.D. 80, uh, two full generations before the date between 130 and 150 given by the more radical New Testament critics of today. That's in recent discoveries in the Bible lands. Albright said, in my opinion, every book of the New Testament was written by a, ba a baptized Jew between the 40s and 80s of the first century, between AD 50 and 75. Uh, Albright did research in Qumran and said that there are a number of key concepts in Qumran that can be traced in the Gospel of John which puts John to an early date. Um, John A. T. Robinson, also a skeptic, uh, has also put early dates to um, Matthew to 40 to 60 AD, Mark from 45 to 60 AD, Luke from 57 to 60 AD, and John at 40 to 65 AD. Some of the great evidences for early church, uh, so the early dates of the New Testament is this incredible piece of information. There are all by the early church fathers. Now get this. Now the early church fathers are like the second generation uh, leaders after the apostles uh, and le leaders after them, the, the sort of first leaders after the apostles. Now get this fact, these next generation leaders after the apostles, or second and third generation sorry, uh, now get this, this is staggering give over 19,368 citations of the new, of, of, sorry, of the four Gospels alone. 268 by Justin Martyr who lived 100 to 165 AD. 1,308 by Irenaeus uh, around about late 2nd century. 1,700 quotes of the Gospels by Clement of Alexandria who lived around about 155 to 220 AD. 9,231 quotes of the Gospels by Origen, who lived at 185 to 254 AD. 3,822 references to the Gospels by Tertullian, 